Hey guys, so we're in the final days of putting bees into almond orchards. They're starting to be a fair amount of bloom depending on where in the state you are. You know, I just I just drove from, you know, down near, uh, you know, further down south, you know, about, I started about an hour south of Fireball along I-5 and then drove all the way up nearly to, uh, you know, Fireball in the Mendota area and didn't see many blooms at all. But if you go further east in towards Fresno, there were blooms everywhere. Uh, where I am right now, there's just a few blooms in this orchard. So it's certainly getting going in some areas. Some areas it hasn't started at all. Um, but most beekeepers have been through their bees at this point. Um, and, and thinking of the collapse, you know, I wanted to give you guys a quick update of what I'm seeing. You know, there are certainly other opinions out there and other people qualified to speak to what's going on. But as, as I've looked at dozens of beekeeping operations over the past three or four days, I've talked to a lot of inspectors that are inspecting beekeepers' hives for the growers. And I, I'd say if, if I could put a theme on it, it was that, yes, we're all short on bees. Nobody has enough hives. You know, the numbers have been thrown around of, you know, 300,000 hives short, you know, 500,000 hives short. Um, I don't know how short we are. Everyone I talk to is a little bit short. Um, I don't know what the number is, but what I can say that the, the theme has been is that the bees aren't great quality wise overall. And that's certainly been the case as I've looked at a whole lot of different operations. You know, people that usually send 12 frame averages are eight frame averages this year. People that usually send eights are five frame averages. One inspector I talked to said, man, I haven't inspected a beehive in the past three or four days that has been above a five frame average. You know, another guy I talked to said, yeah, about half of them I'm inspecting are making grade and the other half are not. Um, and there are certainly operations I've run into that their bees look phenomenal. But I'd say overall, yes, we do seem to be short on bees, um, significantly short. How significant? I don't know. Um, and then across the board, the quality does seem to be lower. You know, we're not at a you know, 12 frame average quality or 12 frame average across the industry, you know, we might be at a seven frame average uh, from, from what I'm seeing anyway. So I still have talked to some guys that their bees are still crashing, even in the almonds. Uh, most people's bees seem to have kind of halted the crash and they're starting to turn the, the page as the almonds start blooming. Um, but, uh, you know, and, and I, I, I know we're all eager to know why, what's going on, what's the cause. We all have opinions on what the cause is. And all I can say is we don't know. And I think we have to be careful of um, being too opinionated about what the cause is because we really need to research each potential cause, whether it's pesticides, pathogens, um, you know, pests, uh, so that we don't miss the potential reason. Um, if we focus too hard just in one direction, we might miss the actual cause over here. So we do need to realize that none of us know yet. It's probably, in my opinion, a combination of all those things that uh, are affecting the bees. But uh, we, we just don't know yet what, what the cause is. I can say pretty definitively, from my opinion, spending a long time in California, is that the bee quality is not what it should be across the industry. Um, and the bee losses are tremendously higher than they should be. So we really have an issue here. Um, it's, not, uh, it's not just a bad weather year. And I truly don't believe at all that it's just bad beekeeping. I've talked to way too many guys that have phenomenally run operations that are phenomenally careful and always have great bees that have had huge crashes this year. Um, and so I do not believe uh, at all that it's just bad beekeeping. We've got phenomenal beekeepers here. And, uh, and their bees crash too. And so this is really reminiscent and I think it's very much like CCD when it hit almost 20 years ago. Um, there's not a single cause that we can point to and the bees are collapsing uh, for a variety of reasons. And, and we've got to figure out how to, how to fix that. One thing I want to share is all of you guys that lived through CCD almost 20 years ago, uh, I did too. You know, the, the subsequent years turned out to be really good years. Even though loss rates were higher, um, a lot of good things happened in the industry after CCD hit. You know, we had increased awareness. We had increased consumption in honey. Uh, and the following almost 20 years have been, despite all the challenges, okay years for beekeepers. So I'm hopeful if we can support our researchers and if we can get to the bottom of this, then the next 20 years can be bright in beekeeping.
but we definitely have a real challenge and a significant hump to get over the next couple years as so many beekeepers try to rebuild. So if you're a commercial beekeeper, keep filling out those surveys, submit for ELAP, because that's one of the ways the USDA helps quantify the extent of the loss. Um, they're encouraging us to go ahead and submit for ELAP. If, so if you've had losses, don't wait, file immediately um, so that they can understand the extent of the loss and can support us. Um, and that's a big deal for food security. I mean, if we don't support the beekeepers, then <laughs> you know we don't have food in the United States. So it's a food security issue. And then uh, keep writing letters to the US Secretary of Ag and to your legislators, letting them know, hey, I'm a beekeeper and we have a big problem and we need research funds and we need support. And I'm confident we can pull through this together, even if it's gonna be a couple years, tough years to get there.